So we're going to take a quick look at the railway today. So you've got one saw blade requirement there, and you've also got two piles. Now, um, the railway's pretty big, and uh, if you run around and try and consolidate everything into one pile, it's... I, I, I don't think you can do it in one night anyway, so... You have to go back at least two or three times, and uh, so there is the option to hand dig the piles, but we'll take this just for now, and just uh, have a look at what's there. And uh, let's go. So it's a safe location uh, with a caveat. Uh, you've got lots of piles. I'm not going to look into each individual pile. Uh, you got a couple up there in the... Whoops, I guess that's the bar. So you just head this way. Another pile here. Basically, there's a, there are a lot of piles here. So if you're consolidating everything into one pile, it can, um, it can take a while. So here's where you've got one pile. So if we just dig this, because you figure that there would be something reasonable in here if it makes you dig through a pile to get there. That would be logical. So all it is is wood. And a can of food. Um, so I guess suggestion is just dig through this pile later or maybe on a later visit because it's not that um, interesting unless the can is valuable at this stage whatever stage of the game you're at because this would be normally be um, I would have thought an early game so saw blade again you figure there's something reasonable behind here But it's up here where it gets interesting. It's the only thing that really makes this location notable. So a can of food, not bad. <clears throat> and here you've got a, a functional uh, assault rifle with some bullets, which is not bad. Um, depending on what stage you are in the game, then, uh, well, that's good for home defense. I tend not to use guns went out in combat anyway but so you come down here more piles more piles more piles more piles and then suddenly a lot more piles so I tend to consolidate in here because there's an exit but there's another uh, pile to dig through here and that gets you to an exit there so once you come in from the other side you tend to go out this side so this is why I use this one to consolidate all the stuff before and then there's three more piles there so that one's reasonably central although there's a lot of jumping up and down so just pick whichever place now you got some guys over here <coughs> now you can get in you can get this pile they say get out this is our place leave so you can grab that no problem grab this one they're still a little bit bothered by your presence but then you get to this pile, leave now, last warning, that's right, stay away. So they've, they're happy now that you're out of their way. But if you hang around too long, what are you doing here again? You're supposed to leave, get out now. So they will aggro if you stay here too long. So I just wait till that happens. And there you go. So if we run, if we run this way, um, they both chase us. Now on this occasion they haven't chased us, but one of them can follow you up and then all the way to the exit over here. So even if you come back, this guy is still Is he looking for us, or is he running away from us? <clears throat> I've had enough. Oh, all right. Well, I guess um, we hit him and he surrendered or something? What about this guy? 
Oh, please stop it. Oh, that's interesting. So all we did is run away and they're like, they've given up. Hmm. Oh well. So, that's what can happen if you hang around with those guys too much. Now, as far as the loot you get, let's just see what he does. Let's just keep running away. Can we even get to the exit? Yeah, we can. All right, so those guys aren't particularly brave. Although on a previous playthrough, one of them, um, when I ran to this exit, they both chased me. So I ran back, then I ran up here, up here, and one of them came after me. I went over here. He was still chasing me all the way to the exit here. So I guess how they aggro can depend, but if you fight back and if you had a weapon then they would back down immediately I would have thought. I didn't even try to fight then, I was just trying to run and they backed down. So there you go. Um, in terms of loot I'll come back with one where I have consolidated all the loot and we'll have a look at that in a split second. Okay so here we are back and uh, in cooking speak this is one I prepared earlier and um, if you look at so I've consolidated all of the loot from the um, railway into one pile here. And you see what you get if you do all the piles. So we got three food. Uh, we got three of those meds, two bottles of pills, three of those, three of those. So components, 15 stacks, 10 of those, uh, five of those, a lot of parts. So that's about four, eight, 12, 15. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of water, got eight gun parts. Then we got 25 stacks of wood, five electrical components, and of course, behind our uh, saw blade thing, we got a, a functional assault rifle with bullets. So I guess that's the only thing that makes this notable, but there's a lot of loot here. So I'm guessing this is a location you get early games. So it's not bad if you've got a saw blade because you've got your home defense up and running already. So. Anyway, I hope that um, was helpful, and uh, thanks again, and thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next location. Bye.